Good evening and welcome to the Young Musicians Final, held this year in the Pavilion at the High School of Glasgow. After a gruelling two rounds of additions, the first uh, via audio recordings and the second to an external adjudicator, we tonight have eight performances for you to, uh, to, to listen to. We have four instrumentalists and four solo singers, each competing for the title of Young Instrumentalist of the Year and Young Singer of the Year. You're in for a treat this evening after hearing rehearsals this afternoon uh, and I'd like to also take the opportunity to welcome our two adjudicators. Mr Ken Walton is as a critic for the Scotsman and he is here to adjudicate the instrumentalists and uh, Miss Nadine Livingston who is here to adjudicate the solo singers as a former pupil of the school and a professional singer herself. Welcome, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, the performances will continue without further introduction and our first performer tonight is Danny of S5 who's going to perform on the marimba. He's going to perform two movements from a set of dances for marimba and if I could ask you to reserve your applause for after the final movement. Thank you very much and over to you Danny. Thank you. 
now welcome to the stage two of our younger pupils who were the winners of our Rising Stars performing platform some months ago. So first up we have Maya of S1 who is the winner of the singing category of our Rising Stars platform and then followed by Theo of Transitus who is the winner of the instrumental category. We are very glad to welcome them back and in fact they were selected by our adjudicator tonight Mr Ken Walton who is very much looking forward to hearing them live. So I'll pass you over now to Maya, thank you.
So welcome to the final part of the evening uh, where the adjudicators are going to say some comments to our performers tonight and what an amazing evening it has been and I hope you will enjoy this at home when you get the opportunity to listen to this. Uh, we've had an absolute treat, a musical feast this evening. Uh, before I pass over to our adjudicators, I'd like to publicly thank as well uh, my colleague, Miss Gillian Daly, who has this evening uh, performed a multitude of styles, piano concerti, piano sonatas, uh, jazz styles, rock and roll numbers, uh, uh, you name it, whatever the pupils throw at her, um, she brings the whole music and the whole experience to life for them. So I'd like to say thank you to Miss Daly. So firstly we had our solo instrumentals uh, section and I'd like to pass the microphone over to uh, Mr Ken Walton to say a few comments to our solo instrumentalists. Well, thank you, Sarah, and thank you to all of you tonight for such wonderful performances, both the instrumental and the singing, and, and indeed from our um, rising stars whom I heard um, remotely um, um, from your recordings. And that's the thing about tonight, it's really wonderful to be here in person, because I, my, my job is as a reviewer for The Scotsman. I go to concerts um, and get paid for it, which is great. And, um, but for the past 15 months, I've only been to one, and that was last week, which was the first one I'd been back to. So to come and hear live music where you are actually in the room playing is just fantastic, and I've really enjoyed tonight. Um, there's no comparison. You know, what's the difference? Well, it's, it's to do with the sense of spontaneity, with the, the feeling of the moment. Um, we can see what you're thinking. We can, see what, we can see what's happening in the performance and feel it with you, and that's really important. And that's what I enjoyed most about these fantastic performers tonight. Um, the, the pieces themselves are really, really good complement of pieces from the hypnotic, atmospheric, modern modernity of rotations um, on, on percussion, from the, the Baroque perfection on the oboe, and of course the drama of Beethoven, uh, which we had from both the pianist and from the violinist. So um, it was really wonderful to hear these different performances, and I'm sure every adjudicator says it's such an, a difficult job deciding which one is the winner. Believe me, it really is, and that's actually the worst thing of tonight, that ultimately I have to pick a winner from the four of you, because you all performed extremely well. So first we had Danny. Danny's here, is that right? Um, you played the two of the four rotations for Marimba. Um, this was a, a really sensitive, really relaxed performance that I thought captured the elusiveness of the pieces. You allowed for instance, the repeated um, bars in, in um, number two, to really sort of bend, to expand and breathe, which I thought was really, you know, that drew us in. And plenty of expressive range, beautifully uh, nuanced endings in both the pieces, and I part particularly like your use of silence in this uh, volu voluminous acoustic. So with such complex textures, though, to deal with, be careful that when you've got a, a line that's up at the top, that we, we catch that line moving across it. You know, it's... Uh, it's, I mean, it's wonderful watching all these, these sticks on the marimba, but th 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 these important lines need to come out. But just occasionally, I felt that they lacked the prominence that they deserved. Nonetheless, a really thoughtful, a really beautiful performance. So thank you for that. Then we had Fergus, um, who gave us... Fergus, yes? Who uh, played... Uh, well, he played the path of deep, but didn't play the, the movement that we all know. But actually... Uh, a really good pairing, a really effective coupling of movements, allowing you to contrast the, the, the poignancy of the adagio uh, with the drama of the rondo, which you did, I thought, to really convincing effect. You produced a well-projected melody in the adagio, it's so important. Just be careful not to let the, the under textures just sort of poke through too much at times. It's really difficult because you're doing it with the same hand sometimes, so uh, just be careful of that. Um, and also, just let the, keep the tempo, although, the, although you're trying to sort of get different sort of um, characters in, in each of the, the themes, just be careful that the tempo remains constant. You can, you can make that differential in different ways. Um, your rondo was full of drama. It was, it was really good, which you conveyed effectively. The just occasional unsteadiness in the rhythm, but um, it didn't deter from what I thought was a really gripping performance. Well done. And then we move to um, some Baroque music. Um, there's, there's, uh, this was uh, Adam, 
who's here. And there's a thing in, in Baroque that we call, a principle that we call affect, which is really where each movement of a piece has a very distinctive character and it tends to stick to that character. And it's important to grasp that when you're, you're looking at multi-movement pieces, as um, Adam did uh, tonight. I thought you nailed the style of this music absolutely from the word go. It was sprightly, it was keenly articulated, capturing the, that first movement, the, the joyousness of that opening movement, with um, a really sort of artful mastery of the ornamentation, which is so important in Baroque, and a sort of instinctive feel for the Baroque style. Then the Adagio, which again you showed an instinctive understanding. Um, I thought that that first opening note, it's a wonderful moment when that note, don't you think the accompaniment to start with sounds a bit like Zadok the priest? Um, but then that, that long note comes in and it just sits there endlessly and it really you had us captivated at that moment. I wondered just if it needed just a little bit of opening up sooner than you did. I was, I was wanting that to happen, but it didn't quite, but it was, it was really um, beautifully controlled um, playing at that point and beautifully controlled and expressive throughout the whole piece. Well done. And finally, is it Helena? Yes. Um, Spring Sonata. And like so much Beethoven, here we have a piece that is in many ways just a mini drama uh, with sort of successive themes that Develop, or the sort of establish their own persona as, as you go. And in that respect, I loved your confident, assertive start, which grabbed our attention right at the beginning and paved the way for an impressive and imaginative performance. Um, be careful not to be too self-conscious in the sort of more muted moments, the, you know, the quieter moments. Um, there the, the, was one theme in particular, I thought you could just have taken that down a little bit and just enjoyed it a bit more. But um, really a very, very good performance indeed. So that is uh, all four performances, and uh, before I'm allowed to announce the winner, um, I will hand over to Ms. Stewart again. <laughs> Hi. Uh, first of all, I want to echo what Ken said about how wonderful it was to see live performances. I know what it's like to perform and to want to perform and to not be able to perform. Um, and so to be in the room with that and with, with you all performing so brilliantly was really lovely. So you should all be very proud of yourselves because you did an absolutely incredible job. Um, for me, performance is about trusting yourself. It's about knowing that you did the work, you listened to your teacher, you did the work in your lessons, you did the work um, at home, not just, um, not just play, singing through your pieces, but really getting to know your pieces and know what they're about and know what the intention is so that when you walk onto the stage and um, whether that's in a competition or a concert, an exam, a, a show, whatever it is, that you know that you can walk out there and just enjoy it and know that all of it's in you and by knowing, by having done that work and knowing what your music means and what the intentions are, you can then go on and give a really honest and genuine performance. And in that performance, it's the honesty that makes your audience feel something. And that essentially is what music is about. It's about making people feel emotions, making them feel something. And all, all of you did that this evening. Um, and it was really lovely to see those intentions in all the singers, it was, it was wonderful. Um, so Aria, first up, um, really poised start, it was wonderful and you kept that poised feeling right the way throughout um, your Aria. Um, make sure in those runs to keep that nice bright lift um, as you move through the runs, um, but the shaping, particularly of the quavers, was, was really beautiful. Um, and then as you moved into tonight, there was a, that lovely uh, change of intention. You, um, you moved into the next piece uh, brilliantly. Um, and uh, that last note, fantastic, well done. <laughs> it's always, it's always you, we talk about in singing, especially with high notes, that everyone focuses on, oh, it's the high note. But in relation to the rest of the piece, it's like one note. But for some reason, we all we kind of focus on it. Anyway, it was fab. It was fab. 
Um, then we had Annabelle. Um, lovely, strong poise again, um, and great breath control. Um, make sure that you keep the, your avals nice and bright, um, and that that just allows the voice to move really nice and freely. Um, fantastic dynamic range as well in that. Um, and then the Usher it's Blues, brilliant communication. It was so different, brilliant contrast. Um, you had a great diction and dramatization. Um, and especially the movement from your chest voice into the middle register was, was fantastic, so well done. Then Christina, um, again, lovely communication, really lovely communication in your uh, area. Um, again, keep that brightness. If you keep the brightness, that helps with so many things. It's like one of the golden rules of singing, really, that if you keep that brightness and feel the kind of sparkle behind the eyes, nice and bright, um, it allows you to keep the line um, and to move through through your um, voice. Um, great dynamic changes, though, really fantastic. Um, and your Italian double consonants were brilliant. Well done. Um, and I loved the ornaments as well. So fab. Um, then into the, there are worse things I could do. Absolutely brilliant dramatic communication. It was it was fab. Um, your voice spins brilliantly when you smile on that at vowel. Um, and so you can use that spin to let the voice really open up on the big notes. Um, but it was a great performance. And then Amy. Uh, again, another poised start. You all were so poised, it was brilliant. Um, keep that joyful feeling throughout the whole piece. You stood and you, you showed that poise and, and the, um, that rejoiceful feeling at the beginning. Just make sure you keep that right the way through. Um, you've got a great placement in your voice um, and just keep that spinning bright sound as you move downwards through the runs. Um, brilliant diction and uh, a lovely uh, sensitive phrase shaping of the, the middle section. Um, uh, can't help loving that man. There was a beautiful uh, sighing feeling in your phrasing, which was wonderful. It, it gave a real sense of what the piece is about. Um, and you managed to use your voice in a beautifully soft way, but without losing that bright placement. Um, so yeah, fantastic. Well done. Well done to all of you. So the, the presentation award, if I could ask, first of all, all of the finalists tonight are so well deserving and are here on the merit of their performances, uh, both in previous rounds and obviously tonight. So we have uh, uh, an award for each one of you. First of all, if I could ask the instrumentalists to come up and turn, starting with Fergus, to collect their award. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> And the singers now, starting with Aria. Thank you. And lest we forget uh, the two winners of the Rising Stars platform uh, who performed uh, beautifully as well tonight. They're here, they're not part of the competition, but they're here to collect their awards. So if I could invite uh, Maya to come up and collect her singing award. <laughs> and Theo to collect his instrumental award. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. So if I could ask uh, Ken, first of all, to announce the winner of the Fraser Macaulay Solo Instrumental Award. I have chosen as winner Adam Insull for his performance of Albinoni. And I'll come over this to ask Nadine to announce the winner 
of the trophy and award in Nadine's name, the Nadine Livingston Award for Young Singer of the Year. This goes to Amy Higgins. If I could ask Amy to come back, that was timely. <laughs> But as we both said, to be able to just sing live in such beautiful space all together, it's really special and I'd just like to thank you so much. Thank you.